In this video, I will demonstrate the GPSDO functionality. We start with the GPS antenna connected to the GNSS SMA and the out is connected to the A input. Less than a minute after the device is started, the GPS is locked and we can enable the advanced menu mode. So we can show one more row with the date of the GPS DO. Here we have the status of the GPS. 12 satellites are in view of the GPS constellation and 10 satellites are in view of the Baidu configuration. And it's using 18 of these satellites for its position fix and the age stop is 0.7. Now we can switch the internal reference to become locked to the GPS, but before we do that, it's nice to show the process of locking by setting row 2 to measure the GPS PPS. And in frequency that's not that interesting, but we use time and do a timestamp with a time wrap of one second. And then you can see the misalignment between the internal time no notion of time and the GPS PPS. When we now enable the locking, the difference here should decrease. Let's do that. We start locking with the GPS PPS. Initially, you get the um, calibration of the range of the VCO. And that's what, what you see here. Let's go to the next phase. And here you see that the time error has been reduced to plus or minus uh, about 20 nanoseconds. We can rese reset this trace. So we can see the variation over time. After letting it run for some time, you can see how the GPSDO controls the frequency that has been seen. You can see that here with the VCO being adjusted. This is the low duck controlling the VCO frequency. And it does that to maintain the timestamp as close as possible to zero nanoseconds. Of course, the phase wanders a bit around, but this only leads to very minute frequency changes. After connecting the PPS output from a standalone GPS module that is locked uh, in position and that uh, should output a very nice uh, one pulse per second to the A input, we have here the time error of the A input uh, measured against the internal time base. As you can see, the time error is very small, so the external GPS module, uh, the PPS of that module agrees with the internal time base, which means that they are approximately uh, at the same phase. You can see the phase difference here. In the plot, you see very nicely a very specific feature. This is called a hanging bridge. Normally, the PPS in its quantization error jumps up and down, but sometimes when the, uh, the internal system frequency of the GPS module uh, drifts just the right amount, you get such a hanging bridge where you have reduced amount of information. Very nice that it's visible here. To check the output frequency, I've started a second tiny GTC and also enabled locking to the GPS. And both have their 10 MHz output enabled on the out SMA and they are connected to the other A input. And here you can see they agree both on the frequency coming from the other tiny GTC as being 10 megahertz. I hope this very short video has shown you something about the GPSDO and the locking to the GPS capabilities of the tiny GTC.